Jump right in and go right out of here. Welcome to the first 15 minute segment of today's show where we talk about the books that came out between 2011 and 2013 with authors Sharon Skinner and J.A. Junta. Mr. Junta, Ms. Skinner, welcome to the show. Hi there. Thanks. <laughs> So um, I'm actually, I'm going to start with Joe because Joe is kind of where this whole thing started. When I got the Blame phone me. call that said, yes, it's you. It's your fault. It's your fault. Because you called me and said, I don't want to sell books. I just want to write them. And I want you to sell them. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how that went down. I remember something like that. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to sell them, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm just going to let Bernard ask you all the questions then from here on out, because, um, no, I'm kidding. Um, but, but Last Incarnation had a history before we published it with Brick here, right? Tell us a little bit about it. I started writing that when I was in college back in 95. Um, and... Uh, I self-published it. I think it went through like three different or two different versions. And then when you decided you were going to publish it, I completely rewrote it. Like all three of them, right? Cause they were all done. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd already, um, I'd already had a version of the second book done. And so I rewrote that also after we published the first one. And then the third one, no, I hadn't started until we finished until we had the second one in print. Yeah, because it took a while for the third one to get out there, right? It took me a long time to write it. Yeah, third yeah, books are hard. When we get to 2015, which is still um, hopefully moments away, and not hours away at the rate that we're uh, progressing on our technical issues today. Um, but, so uh, Sharon, the first book that we published by you was actually not uh, The Healer's Legacy. It was In Case You Didn't Hear Me the First Time, which is the collection of poetry that we created. Um, talk a little bit about that and kind of how that came to be. Well, so before that, I was, I'd done, I had put together some chat books and put out a few chat books I was doing. I was still doing a lot of spoken word back then. So that would have been 2010, 2011 when that book came out. And I was, I'd already written my first novel, but it wasn't publishable yet because I didn't know how to write a novel. Uh, so I, I'd been writing short story and poetry for a long time and I uh, decided that I wanted to put together a collection of some of that and some of my essays from time in my time in the Navy and I had a bunch of drawings and so uh, we kind of put it all together and you know and put it out there and it still sells which is you know not a lot but it still sells which is nice. And um, just so that the viewers know, uh, for those of you that are RSVP to be here and you're in on the Zoom link, you can leave uh, Q&A questions. The Q&A is open and uh, Bernard is monitoring that. So if there is a, either a chat or a Q&A that comes in with a question for either of our authors, uh, Bernard will just kind of you know, jump in and say, hey, we got a question. So please don't, have, don't hesitate to, to shoot a question if you need one. So, and right now uh, people are just people are just saying hi. So, well, good. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for your patience while we're working through um, our our opening challenge. Hey, Bob, let's get this party started. Let's do this. Are we there? Already? Oh crap, we are there already. All right. Um, right and since you were talking about, you know, Joe wants to not sell his books. Why don't we just give one away? Let's do that. Let's just let's give, it, give away. it away. Since nobody will buy it, let's give it away. <laughs> Well, but you know, maybe Bob's not doing his job right. We'll just give one away. So we're going to give away the last incarnation. So, so do I just uh, put it back up the there, so. If it is an official it signature in there. <laughs> What's that? With official signature. Oh, look at that. Official. He didn't just stamp this. He signed Bob's it. getting pretty good at signing those. Yeah. What's in the bottle? What? What are you, what are you drinking? I think say it. Oh, Kelt Lifter. Is it backwards? It's Kelt Lifter. All right, very good. 
One of my favorites. Uh, Jen, who's our winner? Let's see. I'm going to give our winner to um, looks like Oliver Burnett. I'm going to pick that name. I'm going to go with oh, that name. I just scrolled and picked one. Is it Oliver? It says Oliver Burnett. B U R N E A T T. All right. All right. So, yeah. I'll um, write that. See, and Louise is out there using chat. This is, this is oh. fantastic. We're having a good time out here. <laughs> Um, oh, Oliver's a friend of Louise's family. So we'll get that out to Oliver um, as soon as we get out of here. So um, you want to you do anything else or do you just want to kick these guys out and go on to the next group? Bye, Sheridan Joe. <laughs> I say keep them talking for a little bit more and then I'll give a Sharon thing away. Well, all right, because we're into um, we're into uh, Oh no, we're still on their time. We're good. No, we yeah. still have time. I, I'm okay. watching the clock. Trust me. Karen and, uh, There's people in my good. 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 I, I you know I got discombobulated because uh, we had a late start. So so all right. So Sharon, last incarnation, in case you didn't hear me the first time, were kind of the first two books that we published, but we also put out in 2013, which we are also covering kind of in this segment, um, a book called Mirabella and the Faded Phantom. Talk a little bit about that one. Well, so Healers came out in 2012, so that came out first, and then Mirabella and the Faded Phantom came out, and Mirabella is a middle grade, and it's paranormal, and it is basically the story of a girl and her mom move into a house that's haunted by a ghost that's faded away and forgotten why it's there, faded phantom. And because Mirabella is lonely, uh, she and the ghost are both lonely, they become friends. And then the, she discovers that the house is, house is gonna be torn down and in order to help her friend, she has to figure out why the ghost is in the house and unravel that little bit of mystery there. So it's got some historical, fact in it uh, because of the time period that the ghost uh, was alive in and uh, I I like that story it's like it's considered a quiet book but people love that story so, so um, but you know at the time so I mean we had a there were a number of manuscripts that were in play at the time so Nellig was one and Mirabella was one and Healers was one and and so there was kind of a conscious decision in the, about the order that those books were released. Um, talk a little bit about that, because there was a reason that, and this will come into play later when we talk about Matriarchs, when we talk about 2015, and the reason that Matriarchs took um, a little bit longer than I think everybody wanted it to, to come out. Um, but there was sort of a strategy there. So talk a little bit about that. Well, the strategy being that Nelling Stones was the book I wrote in 1995, but didn't know how to, when I didn't know how to structure a novel. And it took me a long time to figure out how to fix it. And I didn't know how to fix it until after I'd written The Healer's Legacy. And The Healer's Legacy was part of my master's thesis. And that's what really helped me to learn how to write and structure a novel was all the work that I did on my master's. And uh, so when I, uh, Mirabella just kind of came out and was was something I was able to puzzle together a lot more quickly than fixing all of the problems in the Vanellic Stones. There were a lot of problems. Uh, it, 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 was a, it was a good idea. It had really imaginative characters and, and things like that, but there were some structural issues that needed to be fixed. And so that's really kind of why the timing was, uh, as I recall, the way that it was. So, I mean, I think, you know, obviously, I think everybody was, everybody was like, why are we waiting for the second Healers book? This Healers has always been a very popular book. Uh, people have always gravitated to it. But I, you know, I know we had that discussion when we got to the point where, hey, we want to release the next book. And we thought it was going to be Nellig, and then it turned out to be Mirabella. Um, because I think Mirabella was a very compelling story in the moment. And uh, I think people find that they gravitate to it very quickly. So, you know, I, I think, you know, they each have found their own unique sort of audience, if you will, based on what they're about and, and those kinds of things. So I think they're great. 
I did want to give, um, I want to give Joe a chance to talk real quick because Last Incarnation was not actually the first uh, thing that we published. Um, the first thing that we published was a series of short stories, uh, and we affectionately call them the cookie stories for, for a reason, but um, they actually make up a book called The Knights of Virtue. So Joe, talk real quick about those. Um, do we want to talk about the cookies? parts or the cookies part i think that's part of the it's a good part of the story so i was um when i was in college you know i was working on anthology and somebody contacted me he owned a cookie company and he wanted to have a collection of stories kind of like the Keebler elves and he was going to release it uh there would be 12 stories so one story per month to go with like a basket of cookies and so I started creating these novellas, basically, you know, one for each month. And I got five in and I never got paid. So I stopped. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we put them all together into a single book. And um, that was basically going to be like part one of a three part series. And those were actually the very first, those are the very first things that we, that we released because we released those as Kindle stories before we did anything else, um, along with a, a couple of other things that you had written, um, Immortal Sherwood, uh, and then the sci-fi thing. Um, Hive Shield. Yeah, Hive Shield. Um, and, and we're going to actually re-release Immortal Sherwood, I know. We're going to put the two stories together and kind of make a little novella out of it. Um, so I think that'll be fun to kind of get that back out. Uh, and then I think Hive Shield um, is going to make its way into an anthology at some point, but uh, I think you and I will need to talk about that. So. Cool. Uh, but so this is where, um, this is where you see kind of the first set of books that we released when we first decided, hey, we're going to, we're going to try this publishing thing out because we had just finished the, uh, we had just finished making a movie. So we had made a sacrifice, a giant monster movie. And we had just started going to events. And originally the events were to promote the movie as opposed to uh, the books. And so in the course of that first two or three years, we actually kind of transitioned from promoting the movie to kind of, hey, these book things are selling. So let's start talking more about those. <laughs> and I think you'll see um, in the next couple of segments uh, how that really took off quickly. And we really kind of gravitated to be the more focused on publishing than anything else. So, um, Jen, you want to do a couple of you want to do a giveaway real quick, and we'll swap out some uh, panelists here. I was just going to say because we talked about Joe's book, and then we just talked about how healers get everybody hooked, and you know, he got me hooked on reading a lot of it. You know, I think I remember telling Sharon that I read it in one night, and she was the reason for me being exhausted at work. So let's go with. Wendy Trakes. Oh, Wendy. Okay. So I will write that Wendy, for yeah. Healers. So yeah, let's, let's get somebody else staying up late at night reading Sharon's books. <laughs> that is, that does tend to be a, a fairly common theme. Yeah, I had a librarian uh, email me once to tell me that she stayed up all, all night reading my book too, so. It's, it's, I've heard some of those stories. And you know when a librarian says it because they're exposed to so much that it's actually a really good book. All right, so it looks I like, like adding so. in, uh, Bill and Jen. And, and uh, Jen. So, uh, Bill, Jen, are you with us? You want to unmute that? Uh, Hang on, Bill. We got to unmute you here. Uh, I'm not muting him. Zeep, are you here? Hi. Now I'm back. He's there you are. Muted. So. I got so muted so somehow. Zebras, are you in there? Are you out here? Or she's it... in, but she's muted. Oh. But dear, you're muted. Boo. <laughs> we're not, we're scared, Bill. We're not scared. So, Jen, can you, oh, you're unmuted. There you go. Hi, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Poor Marcus. Uh, we need to knock him up here or something when we're done. He's he, just there like, you are. Hi. <laughs> you froze up for a second there. All right. So um, this segment, we're actually going to talk about the 